IDBI Bank, that's in focus as well. Over the weekend, they came out with their quarterly numbers, their performance for quarter four. Good set of numbers. The stock has been rewarded 2.5% higher. Pat came in at about 770 crores versus 516 crores. That was a massive 50% jump on a year-on-year -year basis and an even bigger jump, 88% jump on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. We spoke to Aram Malla uh, at IDBI Bank about the numbers, particularly uh, with regards to the other income aspect, the advances and deposits on a sequential basis which saw a sharp jump and some more details on the same with regards to growth in these areas and this is what he said I, I think I'll give credit of all these jumps to my 15,000 young colleagues who are working in this great organization essentially uh, uh, you know uh, what we have tried to do is try to reduce our cost of borrowings and at the same time doing a business which is essentially profitable for the bank so we have tried to protect our NIM, uh, which last year was 2% and continues to be 2% in this year. Uh, and on a bigger balance sheet, 2% has got converted into a quantum jump in profit from 1,650 crore last year to 2,032 crore this year. And especially in the quarter which has just gone by, March quarter, our profits are 770 crore, which is almost 49% more than the last year. This quarter, especially, two things happened. One was our fee-based incomes saw a quantum jump of almost 100 crore rupees, and the requirement of provisioning was far less. Because of our proactive working on our asset portfolio, uh, I'm very happy to inform that uh, our gross NPA of December 2011 has actually come down in March 2012. So the requirement of provisioning itself, we have made all the provisions as required by the regulator. This provisioning requirement was less. So it all has resulted in a very good profit jump in this quarter as well as very good profit improvement in the entire financial year 2011-12. Hmm. Right. Mr. Mala, what about the margins picture this quarter? Last quarter was obviously a slight bit of a disappointment. Has there been any improvement this time and the overall outlook for uh, the full year? As uh, last quarter, December was concerned, there were few uh, large size assets which turned into non-performing asset. So, uh, you know, uh, December quarter had uh, a, quite a jump in uh, non-performing asset. And that's why the pool of non-performing asset increased and as, as a result the percentage also increased. Whereas in this quarter uh, there were uh, not many uh, assets which uh, uh, got into NPA whereas the other thing happened there were a larger number of assets which moved out of NPA uh, category. So this was the reason why in this quarter the requirement of provisioning is far less and as a result the profit was more. Uh, I, we don't give any guidance for the future, but uh, what we can assure you and through you, all your audiences, that this bank will continue to work harder, continue to act smarter to ensure that we provide great quality service to all our customers, whether they are our depositors or they are our borrowers. We will continue to remain innovative continue to bring products and services which will be liked by our customers and we would like to engage all our customers on a regular basis with us. So this is the assurance this bank gives to all its stakeholders and I believe that when we work smarter, harder, our results should be superior. Mr. Mala, talk a little bit more about the asset quality this time around. Obviously, there's been a slight improvement uh, from last quarter where your gross MPAs last quarter were much higher than what you're seeing this time. But is this trend likely to continue keeping the NPAs under control? Uh, you see, as far as IDBA Bank is concerned, we have seen the improvement in this quarter itself. Our gross NPA, as on 31st December 11, were higher as compared to gross NPA, I'm talking amount, as on 31st March 12. That means improvement has been seen in our bank in this quarter itself. Going forward, I know that NPA is a regular phenomena. You may be best in doing your appraisal 
your DNA may be the best as far as appraisal is concerned. You can be selective, but still something or other changes in the environment will make some asset NPA. But as far as our bank is concerned, we have a strong team which keeps regular watch on its entire portfolio. This bank is really fortunate to have been dealing with the companies which have been promoted by excellent promoters who have wonderful track record of business. So looking at the portfolio which is being managed by top industrialists of this country on whom we have great faith. I believe that going forward, we don't see much stress and 2012-13, as far as IDB Bank is concerned, will be far superior as compared to 2011-12. Hmm. Mr. Mala, post uh, the RBI credit policy, I mean, you were the first ones to cut down on rates. Was there any pressure to do so? And, uh, you know, has that caused any pressure build up on the margins? So first of all, I would like to say there was absolutely no pressure and uh, we are really fortunate that, uh, you know, we, uh, we don't get any pressure from any quarter. And this was the most sensible thing to do when Honorable Governor has reduced CRR by 125 basis point, which places with IDB itself an amount of 2,500 crore, which was lying with Reserve Bank of India. Now this 2,500 crore we can use in our lending. And even at 11%, it can give us 275 crore. And realizing that uh, rates of interest are now going to fall, uh, we rejigged our deposit rate between 25 to 50 basis point across various maturity depending on our LCO requirement. So having done these two things, now the logical thing was to reduce the base rate because we would like all our companies to remain competitive and all said and done, cost of borrowing is an important segment in any company's uh, profit and loss account. So this was a very logical thing to do because as and when Reserve Bank was raising its interest rate, we were raising our interest rate. But uh, in fact, after CRR cut, also there was an opportunity to reduce the rate of interest. But we consciously waited till repo rate was cut. And it was purely an uh, ELCO decision made by IDBI Bank. Mr. Malla, thanks very much for that. That's IDBI Bank commenting on the quarter for performance. Stocks up to 1.5%. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.